Day five of the Arctic Winter Games and the week is flying by. All 20 sports plus a host of cultural activities are humming along at top speed up here in Whitehorse, Yukon. Snowboard cross, wrestling, Dene games, snowshoe biathlon and more. All coming your way on this episode of Aug Daily. Daily. Snowboarding wrapped up its competition on Thursday with the aggressive, fast action of border cross. Awesome, and it's just been great hanging out with all of them. I know all of them really well now. And I want to thank my coaches, Gabe and Katrina, because they both just, they both have been awesome and really fun to have around. Woo! Team Alberta North won 21 medals in total at snowboarding, followed by Team Yukon with 13. On the women's side, both Jordan Voigt of Alberta and Lara Bellon of Yukon each won four individual gold medals in the week's events. The wrestlers were engaged in another intense day of competition Wednesday at Yukon College. We drop by to have a look. Dillingham, it's like here's Alaska. We're like right up here. The style we do back home is all uh, folk style. And this is freestyle, so it's a whole different game. Yeah. We got second as a team yesterday. We kind of bummed, but we came back and we won all golds today. Team Alberta North won the gold in Monday's team event, but it was Team Alaska who was dominant on the mat Wednesday, winning seven gold medals in the individual weight categories. On Wednesday, the Dene Games featured one of the most unique events of the Arctic Winter Games with competition in hand games. Watching and cheering, it's like a good feeling. Go team and team! Hi!
Snowshoe Biathlon held its third day of competition Thursday with its mass start events. We were there at Grey Mountain to take in some of the action. I'm with Team Alaska and I'm at Snowshoe Biathlon. If you beat yourself up over bad race times and compare them to what your race times were before, it's, it's not going to help you in the long run. It's pretty, you, get, you do get a rest every half a kilometer when you come into the range and you really get to calm down and basically restart the race. I like, I like to think of it like that. It's really only a kilometer at a time for me and that's how I take it. up out of the penalty loops faster than most of them. I represent Team Yukon. I won the gold Ulu and it was pretty awesome. Well, I had a couple of really, really bad crashes and ripped a lot of muscles in my rotator cuff. So I've, it's been a long haul to get my shoulder back online. Just I've been kind of plagued with injuries the last few years and so it's been really nice to make a comeback on the podium. My daddy, he was just a ski coach and knew nothing about biathlon, but I was like, I want to do this sport. And so he started coaching and learning and I think we both learned a lot and had a lot of fun doing this. So much going on at the 22nd Arctic Winter Games. Here's a little something we call Random Og. Thank you for tuning in to day five of Og Daily. And remember, there are so many ways to keep up with the Arctic Winter Games. Our website, og2012.org, Facebook, Twitter, endless photos on Flickr. And be sure to check us out on White Horse Cable 9, Yellowknife Cable 20, and of course, our YouTube channel by searching Og Daily. For your daily dose of Og Daily.